All right, there we go. We have uh, set this thing up. Let's see here, hold on a second. It needs to come down a little bit. All right, we have set this up. I think we filmed a little bit yesterday where we were uh, fixing this thing. It was all rusted out. We needed to fix this door to the lockout with the pulley system, but the girls have just called us. It is always something going on here. There is apparently some sort of small mammal by one of the enclosures on the far side of the zoo. I think it is by Max's Pride, the Lion Pride. So Sean and I have to go over there now, but lockout is fixed. And uh, what's up guys? Briefly, oh, landmines. Oh, we got it in the shoe. That is nastiness. We're just gonna have to kick that. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Landon Cher, and today, probably gonna carve a pumpkin with Romeo, the little capuchin boy. But right now, we have to go see what is going on on the other side of the zoo. We're here at the lion enclosure now. Hey, big boy. Hi, big grump. This is Max, but I guess, so they just called on the radio. They said that one of the guests said they saw something. So I don't know what this could be. It wasn't one of our tour guides or workers here. And they said it was in some of the bushes around where the lockout is, that these thick bromeliads are really spiky. And I don't think there's anything in there. Hi girls. Look at these big pretty girls and boys. We've got Max and Zeus. And then there's the lion girls. These are our white lion girls. Oh Ooh. my goodness. I hear it. There's a kitten in these bushes. There's a kitten in these. Can you guys hear that? Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, where did this thing come from? Hold on a second. Come here, come here. It's okay. I cannot believe this, guys. Look what we have oh my goodness who knows where this little guy came from oh my goodness actually it looks like a little girl here now i don't know where this thing came from but we do have a lot of cats around here in miami in south florida and actually nationwide worldwide there is a huge stray cat problem where these cats are just breeding out of control now i don't want to bring her much closer than this to these big lion kids because she could be carrying all sorts of different things. We're definitely gonna have to give her a bath here. Luckily, we do have flea and tick shampoo and we have all the right stuff. We probably have to give her some food, but let's try to find her mom. This is so crazy. We've definitely heard of kittens here before, but not this close to the lions. I don't know how she got there and she was obviously crying for help, crying for her mom. So we are going to get her a bath until maybe we find her mom on the property. These guys are put in the worst situation down here because they do not belong here. They wreak havoc on all of our natural wildlife. Our birds especially have taken a toll. Billions of birds die a year from these cats that are outside. Even if they're someone's pet, but they're left outside. A lot of times the owner doesn't see it, but they have totally crunched the numbers of our native wildlife. Snakes, lizards. It's all right, okay, all right. We don't like the water too much. The problem is guys, if this cat does have fleas or ticks, that is not good. They can carry diseases, but the other thing is that she could spread ticks and fleas and other different things to our animals here, our exotic wildlife. And obviously, no matter what, we don't want that to happen. So we want to take the precautions. She looks very clean. I know, I know. We've got our flea and tick solution here and we're just gonna rub it in. I know, I know, nobody wants to do this. Nobody likes taking a bath. I mean, I like a bath after a stinky day at the zoo. Okay, all right, I get it, I get it. What we don't wanna do is put this little girl through any more stress than she has to go through. And probably somebody from the zoo is gonna take her home. We would like to get her mom as well, and maybe they can be brought together. But who knows, there are so many properties, so many farms around here that these cats just run around on. There's a lot of food for them, mice, different big lizards. Like I said, birds before. Okay, I get it, I get it. It's okay, I know. That water isn't the warmest water, but we had to do what we needed to quickly so that we could ensure 
that this cat is clean. She probably feels really good after the bath, but she does have to dry off. We do have to clean her ears out a bit. You can see there's some funk all up in there, so we're gonna get that cleaned up if we can in a second. Try to get some cotton swabs or something in there so it's not so invasive on her and it doesn't really cause her much stress. She's drying up now. She's drying up pretty quick. I know, I'm sorry. We're gonna try to get her some water because who knows when the last time is that she actually had water in her system. Moving around a little funny. She's just just a baby. I don't even know how old this is. Comment down below, guys, some name suggestions for this little one. We've got a little water dish. This is about the best thing that I could find quickly. Oh my goodness. It's a little big, but... So we were looking around the zoo and I was trying to find some kitten milk formula to give this little girl, but... We did find some of this meat. It's a canned cat food that I had to mince up even more fine. It was in bigger chunks, more like this before, but we have these smaller chunks. Oh, somebody's crying for food. I think, let's see if she wants to take it. Oh, she's smelling. She's smelling, smelling, smelling. She says, oh, there's the food. Oh, she's got some of it. She's taking it down. That might be a lot of food for her. I just poured a bunch of it in. She is chugging it down. She seems to have some sort of weird issue, not because of the shaking from being cold, but because she moves her head around a little bit, and I don't know why that is. All of us here are kind of speculating that it could be something neurological. I don't really know. I might have to ask my dad, who's a veterinarian, on some information on what we could do for her, but I do think we found a home for her, although, again, guys, I do want to find the mom of this little girl. Look at her chugging. She is just so cute, and who knows when her last meal was. This little girl could have been alone for hours and hours, maybe even days, over there by the lion enclosure. Let's go check on Max and see how they are. What is this? We've got some, we've got some food for you. What is this? Oh, smelling it. We might get a stinky face here. He says, do I look like a house cat to you? He doesn't know how to eat it. He's never eaten off a fork before. Oh, stinky face, stinky face. This is Max, our beautiful boy, and sometimes he can get kind of grumpy around food. You want to lick this? Here, lick it. Lick it. He definitely likes the smell of it. He just doesn't know whether to eat it off the fork or not. I don't know if this big boy is going to eat it, but guys, our lions are now saved from that kitten. And what I mean by that is we have to be so careful here with all of these beautiful animals. We have to watch their health, which is why we do the hand feedings to keep that relationship between us. I can't go in there, but if we can get them to come up to us, number one, it's really good for their health to be able to check on them. Oh, he's got something on his neck. He's got something on his foot. We can look at it from this far away. It's also really nice to have you guys come here as guests and see these animals up close and personal but now we have saved them from the little cat spreading any diseases to them who knows what that guy has he might have a neurological issue which gives him that kind of head wobble but we will update you guys on that in one of the next videos if you guys want to see that you're gonna have to subscribe and if you've enjoyed this video please like it it supports me on the channel comment down below some name suggestions for the little girl and we will see you guys with the lion pride in the next adventure peace